what is up hollywood stars welcome back to another video so today we have another haul this time it's five and below i've never been there this is my first time so if you want to see everything that i got definitely keep watching and as always don't forget to shine bright because it's slow hollywood time Hey guys sorry that the lighting is like off but i think the sun is going down and yeah my, i'm like in front of my blinds but but i really wanted to get this video off for you guys also i love the way my hair came out today i actually had it in braids side note for like two days i didn't take the braids out out in two days and then i took them out this morning and this is what I was left with, and I love it. I feel like it's so cute. Side note. So anyways, I went to Five and Below today. I had never been there, and I heard so much, like, so much great stuff about it. I haven't seen any hauls either, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, so let me show you guys what I got. I didn't get too much stuff. Um, I'll go more in detail and stuff, but let me show you what I did get. So the first thing was I got this nail polish. I really love the color of it. I was honestly like debating whether I should take it or not because it was $3. But I love the color. I love how neon it is. Um, I've actually seen this at the dollar store for a dollar. So, but I was like, whatever, I want to get it. And then I got this um, brush cleaner. Um, so it's the one where you can like Let's say you dip into like a pink eyeshadow and then you want to use the same brush and dip into a green eyeshadow. Then you can use this to just kind of swirl it around. I've never owned any like anything like this, so I'm really excited to use it. So I'll have to keep you guys updated to see how I like it. But yeah, this is what I got. This was $3. Um, I also got this nail polish, which you guys know I love painting my nails. So I got this one. I love the way it looked. Like, I feel like it looks so fancy, like so professional. Um, it's a professional nail polish remover, it says on the bottle. Um, but it actually says that it's the long strength, enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil, removes nail polish, nail glue, glitter polish and more oh that's that's a good one because glitter polish is so hard to remove um and this is strawberry scent so let me see if that's true okay no no <laughs> it just i like i i'm so glad i didn't sniff it like like actually because i already know i i wouldn't want that scent in my all up in my nostrils um it smells right just like nail polish remover so don't be fooled by the strawberry. So I'll keep you guys updated again with my glitter polishes maybe. And then you guys, one thing that I really liked about the store is that they actually have a lot of cute, like they actually have a lot of cute stuff. But one of the things that I've never really seen in like stores like this is books. And I was so intrigued, like it's weird. I got like four books. So let me show you guys. This is the most like random book that I would get. Like, I don't even know. I mean, I do know why I bought it, but it's just random. I feel like if you know me, you would be like, you bought that? Like what? So this is the Handy History Answer Book. It's huge. Like, it's so big. This was $5. All the books actually were $5. But um, I just really want to become more intellectual, you know, because I feel like, let me just skim the page. Um, if somebody asked me. Why is the Kennedy presidency called Camelot? Camelot? I don't even know what that means. Um, why was Susan B. Anthony tried? I don't even know. Um, when was the New York Stock Exchange founded? I don't even know. Who was Fred Shuttlesworth? I don't even know. So exactly my point. I feel like I need to become more intellectual. I need to like know more history. And this seems like super easy. So it kind of goes by like different categories so it goes with like religion um it goes exploration and settlement war and conflict government and politics like i'm literally so bad at history like it's bad so i really loved that i got this you guys i'm really excited so literally it's super easy and i love how like each little prompt or whatever each little paragraph start to the question so 
for example, like I was saying, who is the enemy of the day? So you can kind of read the question and then get the answer. So I don't know, it's kind of random, but I'm excited to read it. It's weird. Okay, the next one, this was, I think this is the one that I'm like, ugh, I'm so excited. I saw this one. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry with the light. It's like shiny red on my face, but hello. Like my skin looks really good. <laughs> so um, this book, I'm really excited. This is the Buddha Bowl. I love Buddha Bowls. So the Buddha Bowl consists of grain, protein, and greens. So this is the book. It looks so good, right? Like, ugh, I want to eat this. Um, this was $5 as well. And you guys, for $5, I mean, this is a beautiful book. It has beautiful glossy pages, beautiful illustrations, photographs, colored photographs. Like, this is beautiful. I'm so excited. And I love foodables. I love to eat healthy. I love, oh, look at this. This looks so yummy. Um, so I'm really excited to um, look through this book and just create a bunch of different recipes. So uh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, the next book that I got, I'm really excited about all my books, actually. This one, again, $5. This is called The Complete Guide to Natural Vitamins from Food and Supplements. So this book actually goes in detail as to different vitamins. So like biotin, where you can get biotin in natural food sources, um, sodium, what it's good for, how it helps your body, sulfur, chromium, copper, Magnes, mag, magne, what? Magnes, manganese, manganese. Sorry, manganese. Um, zinc, um, antioxidants. Why you need those certain vitamins in your body? Like, it's such a great book. Like, you guys, it's so weird. Like, I feel like I'm such like a health junkie. Like, I love to learn stuff about health. Like, I took a nutrition class and it was like wonderful. I loved it back in college. Um, but the problem is that I also love junk food. Like I love healthy food, but I love junk food. So I have like this balance, but I don't know, maybe I should start taking my, my healthy journey more serious so I can reach my goals. But yeah, I love reading stuff like this. And I think this is a book that I can like just keep forever. So I'm really excited about this one. And then my last purchase and the last book that I got, um, again, $5. This is so cute. These are actually also like really nice books for gifts. If some of your friends, family love to read or, you know, are into these topics. Um, this one is called Speedy Yoga, 50 Peaceful Poses to Balance Your Busy Life. Ah, so cute. I love it. Also, what I love about this is that it's a hardcover. And all the pages are hardcover. Like, how cool is that? So, I love this one because um, it gives you, like, what to do in the morning, um, what poses to do in the evening. And then it also gives you, let me see, let me keep going, how to detox your body with poses. So, I had this vision in my head while I was um, at the store. I was like, oh my god, this would be so cute. I'll keep it in my room and then in the morning I'll just flip to a morning page and I'll do these exercises so or these stretches so yeah you guys I'm so excited so that is basically everything that I got at five and below so not too much and I spent a total of $32 with 90 cents so let me tell you guys my thoughts and opinions at least to the one that I went to so I love that they had like a bunch of stuff that I didn't think they would have. So they had like clothes, they had shoes, um, like water shoes, um, just a bunch of stuff, like really cute keychains. They had makeup, they had like wet and wild in there. Um, yeah, so a lot of really cool stuff. But I will say a lot of the stuff that they have, I've seen at the dollar store. So you can get the exact same stuff for a dollar. So kind of like this nail polish so I had like more stuff in my cart and I ended up putting it away be or putting it back because I was like oh my god I was just counting like 5 10 15 20 and I was like I can't like 
and even $32 I was like oh my god that's like a lot for like five and below because I kind of felt like everything in there was like the dollar dollar store stuff um but now that I'm sitting here and I'm going through my little haul $32 for all of my books is not bad so I feel like my books definitely um I don't know how he's definitely made it worth it worth the $32 so yeah I'm so excited I think the books are my favorite things out of all of the things that I got um so yeah you guys let me know if you have a five and below near you what cool items you found there um also I noticed that my store I think is kind of newer because in the back they had a whole section that was still um had nothing in it so i think they were still gonna stock the back so yeah let me know you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this little mini haul if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below hit that bell so you don't miss a single video and i will catch you next time bye